Hey, what's up, fellow foodies? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of K-food and how it's taking over the globe. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our delicious content. Meet Mai, a 24-year-old Estonian with a passion for all things Korean, especially K-pop sensation BTS. She runs the YouTube channel Kimchi Ghost Mai, with nearly 27,000 subscribers. Crazy, right? Mai's journey into the world of K-food started with BTS's hit song Dope in 2015. That one tune sparked her interest in K-pop, leading her on a quest to try Korean food for the first time during a London vacation in 2016. She took on the challenge and ordered the fiery kimchi jjigae. Spicy lovers, beware! But Mai's not alone on this K-food adventure. There's also Austin Gibbons, a 35-year-old American living in Daejeon, who's exploring Korean traditional staples. He shares his epic food escapades on his YouTube channel, Eating What Is Given. For both Mai and Austin, K-food became a way to connect with their favorite Korean celebrities and culture. And they're not the only ones. The K-pop wave has brought a whole new approach to spreading the love for Korean cuisine worldwide. Speaking of love, who here loves super spicy instant noodles? The famous Puldak Ramen, a fiery favorite among young Koreans, gained international fame when BTS members, especially Jimin, showed their love for it on their official YouTube channel Bangtanth. The Puldak Mukbang Challenge was born. Fans from all over the world couldn't resist taking on the fiery challenge themselves and uploaded over 1,000 related videos. Can you imagine their reactions? It's pure spice-fueled entertainment. The spiciness even became a core export item, making Samyang Foods' revenue soar to new heights. They owe a big thank you to Jimin and BTS for the worldwide pool dock fever. But it's not just instant noodles making waves. Korean fried chicken has flown onto the global stage and barbecue, a Seoul-based chicken franchise, is rocking it. Thanks to the massive popularity of dramas like The King, Eternal Monarch and Crash Landing on You, where characters gather for Korean-style fried chicken, the demand has gone through the roof. In the States, Camilla Drew, a 24-year-old from the U. S. can't get enough of Korean barbecue and chicken. The K-content wave has turned her and many others into Korean food enthusiasts. And talking about celebrities, BTS Jin became the face of Otaji's Jin ramen product. With his love for the noodles and the name connection, he was the perfect fit. Smart move, Otaji. The ramen went from a regular snack to an international hit, boosting the company's overseas sales like crazy. Remember the instant noodle fusion chapaguri from the Academy Award-winning movie Parasite? Well, it became an international sensation overnight, thanks to Nanshim's quick action. They turned the spotlight into a golden opportunity, spreading the chapaguri love to global consumers. Now, let's not forget about Dikboki, those chewy rice and fish cakes bathing in a sticky chili paste sauce. Blackpink's Rose and Jisoo adore them. Their love for Dikboki on their official YouTube channel has brought back memories for many fans worldwide. It's the ultimate comfort food with a delightful twist. The K-food industry is booming, and experts predict an annual economic impact of a jaw-dropping 23 trillion won. That's a whole lot of kimchi. But to truly conquer the global stage, we need more storytelling strategies that showcase K-food with K-content. And there you have it, folks the mouthwatering world of K-food going global. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your fellow foodies. Until next time, keep exploring the flavors of the world. Stay curious and stay hungry. This is Bull Channel, signing off.